Coming up next on Access Framingham TV, Iceland, with my guest, Nicole Conley. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jack Barron, host of Travels with Jack on Access Framingham TV, where guests share with our audience a recent trip, a vacation, a cruise, or even a business trip. They'll share their photos, and you'll hear about the very interesting places they've visited. On this month's show, my guest is Nicole Conley. In 2009, Nicole stopped for a few days in Iceland on her way to a wedding in Sweden. With her was her pocket-sized friend, Ike, a stuffed rabbit with very long ears. <laughs> Nikki returned to Iceland in January of 2014. I think she brought Ike again. What parts of the world have you visited? Please be my guest on Travels with Jack share your travel experience with our viewing audience. Please give us a call here at Access Framingham Television and let us know you'd like to be a guest. You can phone at Access TV 508-875-5434 or you can send an email message to info at accessfram.tv. Our associate producer will contact you to make arrangements for you to be on our show here on Access Framingham TV. If you don't live in Massachusetts, we would be pleased to assist you with your tra travel to Access Framingham Studios. And now, let me welcome Nikki Conley. Hi. <laughs> hey there, Jack. Hi, Nikki. So good to be here. Thank you. A little history for our audience on Nikki. Uh, Nikki currently lives in Westboro, Massachusetts with her husband, Carl. Sorry for those of you who thought she might be single. Who grew up in Dublin, Ireland, and Nicole grew up in Stuttgart, Germany, the home of Mercedes-Benz and Porsche. Yes. Uh, Nicole graduated Boston University with a certification in photography. She is a professional photographer and is very busy with one of her major clients, EMC Corporation. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing a lot of their web-linked photography. Mm -hmm. That's things like where if you're in LinkedIn, she takes the picture of the executive, tries to make them look better than they look, and takes okay. it from there. <laughs> Nicole is an avid horsewoman and loves to horseback ride. She also tries to go horseback riding when traveling around the world and has now gotten her husband, Carl, interested in equestrian matters. <laughs> Nicole also teaches a German cooking class at Astabet, uh School's After Dark program yep. and an iPad class at Keith Tech here in Framingham. Mm -hmm. uh, she will be sharing with us today her trip to Iceland, and I am very excited to view her great photos, hear her stories, and learn more about Ike. You want to hold up Ike? Yep. <laughs> her, her little traveling companion. Anyway, Nicole, tell me a little bit about how you got involved with Ike. I know. That's <laughs> and the whole one. trip to Iceland. <laughs> well, I... Um was going to Sweden to a wedding so I looked into flights and Iceland Air uh, was the one that would bring me over to Sweden and uh, I figured like you know when I'm going over there why not stop over in Reykjavik for a couple of days. I've never been, I've never really explored the northern part of Europe. I've been to the southern part of Europe quite a bit um, 
live in like in the south of Germany, so it's close to Italy. Um, I'm actually, my grandmother is from Slovenia, Hungary. Oh, really? Right at okay. the Hungarian Austrian border, Slovenia. Yep. Um, so I also speak Hungarian. Um, do you so do a Hungarian cooking class too? Well, that's where the, the apple strudel class is. Oh, all right. I'm yeah. signing up for the cooking <laughs> class. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will enjoy it. I will. Everybody gets to make their own apple strudel. Mm -hmm. And it's a very old recipe from my grandmother. So, um, But uh, yeah, so going over to the wedding and uh, stopping in Reykjavik for a little bit. And I, I told my friend um, about it as well, who is a photographer here in Framingham as well. And uh, we had plans that she would come with me to the... Iceland portion of my trip before I head over to the wedding and um, but it so happened it fell through so she couldn't come but she gave me Ike, Ike okay as uh, instead of her so I took Ike with me <laughs> at least he doesn't complain <laughs> no that's right he's like very quiet and just uh, hold still for the pictures as well you know it's great so I basically took a lot of pictures of him on my trip and uh, I teased my friend I sent her text messages uh, back and Facebook postings of him posing in front of these different things I love it yeah. I love it <laughs> So tell me a little bit, Iceland, um, yeah. you stayed in a hotel or did you stay with a family? Where, what were your accommodations? Yeah, so I kind of, uh, since she was not coming, um, it, it plans a little bit changed. So okay. um, if she would have come, we would have probably rented a car and driven around the um, Iceland a little bit. Uh, but in this case, I just stayed in Reykjavik. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so flew into Keflavik, which is... Um, it's about a 45 minute uh, bus ride getting into Reykjavik. Okay. So it's actually an important piece to know um, that you need to get your bus ticket from Reykjavik as well to get into the city then, which goes for um, about like a round trip, it's $40. Okay, not too yeah. much. Yeah. Okay. So, and then it just brings you right um, just at the uh, towns, uh, just at the Reykjavik, like just outside there as well um, and then they drive you right to your hotel so oh, okay. it's it's really neat so inside the city you can't really bring the big coach buses in so that's why they go to a bus terminal and then you oh, jump really? over to oh, a that's small... how they do it they have yeah. kind of a uh, shuttle system exactly you go from the airport to a semi-terminal and then they take you to okay that's great right yeah it's it's a very very neat system um, how they pick you up in the morning time if you decide to do some trips. Um, they have it all figured out, so it's it's very, very neat. Um, yeah, I stayed in a hotel then in this case, and um, I researched Iceland quite a bit. I got myself, uh, you know, the typical guidebook here. Um, this is a photo of Iceland. I think right. yeah. Bill, Bill is showing us where it is. So Exactly. So it looks to me, what, like an island? Yeah. It is totally an island. Oh, it's, okay. And Reykjavik is actually the northern, uh, the most northern capital in the world. So. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. So Reykjavik. Yeah. So uh, when I got there, I, I couldn't. And, and this is what the. Um, so that's the, the harbor? harbor. Yep. It's the harbor. So when I got to Reykjavik, I tried to check in, but they, the room wasn't quite ready yet. So I just left my luggage there and I headed straight to the harbor. So you can see how there it, it's quite calm there. Yeah, so it, it looks early very nice. In the morning, I flew in Friday. I left Friday from Boston and it's it's actually quite a, a, an easy flight over there. I love flying Iceland Air. It's, uh, it's, it was five hours? That's all. Five hours, direct flight. Yep. And quite an easy flight, so... You rented a car? Is this your car you rent? No, no? okay. Uh, I just wanted to show that they have Volvo cars over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, like the, the license plate, so I just wanted to capture a little bit of... Uh, of uh, yeah, of the the country, I guess. So, what's different over now, there? Now, do they have a lot of fishing in this area? It looks like it would be. Yeah, a lots of fishing industry, um, and yeah, the big controversy over there is that they do whaling. Oh, for the Japanese or for their own people? Well, they do it for themselves as well, and believe it or not, so they they hunt actually minke whale, and it's on the menu there. Oh, uh, in the restaurants? In the restaurants, yep. Okay. But believe it or not, it's actually the tourists that eat the most minke whales. <laughs> 
Did you try any? I did not. I did not try any minky whale. I've never had whale. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but a lot of it goes over to Japan, yes. I was going to say, yeah. the Japanese, mm -hmm. I know, uh, do uh, like whale. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Uh, you know, um, I just uh, started basically down there, and it was like all still very quiet. It was on a Saturday morning, probably like seven, eight o'clock. It's very quiet in Reykjavik actually at that time, because uh, believe it or not, they are big partiers. And oh, it's it's a nightclub <laughs> town. <laughs> it's a nightclub town, so they're probably all still asleep, and or just heading into uh, you know to go to sleep because. Uh, Clubs over there are open until 7 in the morning. So, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> are they vodka drinkers like the Russians? They have their own drink. It's oh. called Black Death, I believe. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> did you at least try that? You know, I, I think I did try it, and yes. And what does that taste like? Uh, it's a car. It's made from a caraway seed. So oh, okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, so oh, it's, really? it's quite a strong drink, and they normally serve that with uh, when they serve shark, like this. Um, it's uh, it's a shark that's kind of like they let it set for like three months, so it kind of ro oh, really? it's rotten shark, <laughs> believe it or not. So that's how they and, serve and it. And that's and you need the drink to eat it. <laughs> yes, exactly. I got it. I got probably it. Probably before and then <laughs> after as well. That's probably what it is. Is to entice you. To drink. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually a view back from uh, into the city, and uh, the city is, itself is, is uh, you know, it's very easy to walk around. So it looks. I don't see too much in high-rise buildings. It almost no. looks like uh, this could be Portland, Maine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's 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 um, it's very easy to walk around. So this is what I did. I really just left my my bags at the hotel and went for a walk. So the first day, I really just explored things. And there's lots of statues. So this was, again, still down at the harbor. So it's just two seamen um, just looking uh, out into the ocean. Um, and this is uh, one of the statues there. It's the cultural center. I think it's the, yeah, it's the cultural center there. and. And you know, the Icelanding names, so I, I is always... Is this a uh, government building? This yeah, white... so, oh. uh, actually it's not. It's oh. a cultural center. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So Beautiful it's a cultural building. center, yeah. Um, and that was the Arnhold statue right there. So it's, uh, it's actually the, um, the, the Viking that... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, the first settler. So that was uh, the statue of that. Now, Iceland... That. Oh, look at this. This is... Yeah. Uh, and you can see that's a bike path there. And they had the sailing ships there early in the morning. And uh, it's... So this is all just still the harbor there. And it's... Um, uh, I think it's... Uh, Essia is the, um, the mountain area behind that. Did, was there a lot of bikers there? Is it a good place? It's you an would excellent place to bike, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty flat? Yeah. Um, it's it's nice to, like, because this is all along the shoreline, you can uh, cycle there, so it's easy to oh, rent bikes there Oh, that's good well. to know, because we've yeah. had a couple of our uh, viewers mention, you know, where is a good place where bikers, mm -hmm. and we want to go on a bike holiday. Yep. So um, yeah. keep that in mind, folks, yeah. that Iceland is a very... Yep. reasonable flat exactly. terrain exactly yeah and a lot of people go there um you this can is who it. were you single at the time um yeah so this was uh. like <laughs> <laughs> there I was concentrating on photographing this bike actually and uh this gentleman is walking up behind me and he's like <laughs> I <see. laughs> basically making a point is like why are you taking a picture of this bike where why i'm here in in full uniform so he was advertising for one of the museums so oh okay yeah, i, I, said, I, I see i see the axe it looks like and i says oh my god he yeah, didn't like scary. nicole and he you know yeah well um being blonde you know we were probably fellow viking <laughs> <laughs> the photos comrades. are terrific, by the way. I have to tell you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, so this is close to like um, um, the pub area, the main main strip of the of the city, uh, where there's a lot of bars, a lot of pubs, a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops, as well. Um, so yeah, this is uh, they have a lot of art going on in Iceland. Really? Yeah. So a lot of arts and statues. This is actually pretty close by this next picture here um, to the hotel where I stayed. Oh, so, okay. Um, did you like the hotel? I did, yeah. Okay. It was good. It was uh, pretty inexpensive. I think it was like for the four nights I stayed, there was like 400 Oh, that is very inexpensive. Bucks. Yeah. Did you find in general, um, Reykjavik, am I saying it right, Reykjavik? Yeah. Did you find it to be uh, 
inexpensive, expensive? What was your your sense of the pricing? Yeah, so that's a good question. It's very um, it's very inexpensive to get there. Okay. Um, the hotels are uh, reasonable. Reasonable, um, but as soon as you start eating, that's where it gets expensive. The food's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, even the fish, you found even the local fish were a lot of money. Um, the fish actually not okay. not so much. But so the beef fish. was a lot of money, or the chicken. Um, so the thing, chicken is is one thing that they just started to produce in Iceland. So it's uh, chicken is still expensive. That's okay. something they import. So um, fish, they have themselves um, sh um, a lot of um, sheep. Oh meat. really? Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so lamb. Yep. Yeah, a lot lamb. of lamb. Okay. Potatoes they have plenty of, um, and then yeah, pork and beef they have. Uh, they, but you did they find are, the food expensive. Yeah. So the food. I is, had heard that. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So it is. Uh, it it is quite expensive to eat there. But now uh, this is drink. again more of the downtown yeah. so area. So downtown area as well. Yeah, that's one of the. They have outdoor seating. So as far as like the temperature, this was. You in, were there what month? Yeah. Good question. So August. Oh, so summer. Yeah. So July. It was. Yeah, I think it was. It was still July. Yes, it wasn't so, August. It was July. And the weather was what would you say temperature wise? Temperature wise, it was on average uh, lower sixties. Oh, so a little bit comfortable, yeah. kind of San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. And the nice thing about that time, so yeah, just another statue here, like. <laughs> but the um, yeah, so San Francisco is probably a good uh, way to compare it to. Um, but it's uh, the nice thing about uh, that time of the year is that it doesn't get dark. Oh, really? So you get a little bit of like a... That's a, why the bars are open till 7 in the morning. That makes sense now. <laughs> because they don't know they, when to go home. They don't home. know when to go home. Oh, wait a minute. Is it still <laughs> evening or morning? <laughs> really? So why? What time is the sun out till? So the sun is out like it's... You will see a couple of pictures uh, later where there's... Uh, I, I will tell like the time that it w were taken. But I mean, it's, it's bright all the time. You get that in Sweden, I think, also. Yes, exactly, yeah. in Sweden as well. Yeah. And it just goes a little bit, like you see, like a little bit of a sunset going on, but then, you know, the sun comes up already again, so. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so the... Uh, oh, this is what? <clears throat> this is... Oh, so this one here, it's... Um, it's one of the statues, and there's actually something uh, very interesting was happening. So I'm like trying to take, uh, as a photographer, trying to take some nice, unique pictures. I included some of the flowers there of the statue. No, the photos are terrific. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> but there was something uh, very, very interesting developing there. So it's um, this is called the Sun Voyage. Okay. Uh, translated, um, and if I remember the name, so Solfar is the uh, Solfar sculpture. It's called, yeah. But it's just, it's translated it's the sun voyage, and uh, yeah. So um, there's uh, in the, in the next shot you actually see um, some somebody was giving me. Um, so that's just the bay there again, the Reykjavik Bay. Um, but the next one there's actually something going on. I, all of a sudden there were people starting to climb the statue. Oh, I see it. Oh my God. Oh, so this is. <laughs> well, wait. This I'm glad you took that because it shows you this is yeah. a big, big statue. Yeah, exactly. So wow. there you actually see the size of it. It looked kind of small in the previous. It did. I'm, I'm saying, looking yeah. at it now. So it's like, uh, okay. So I, I should I continue taking pictures? Well, I better do. Maybe I'm gonna make with this picture when the guy falls. Maybe I make the news. <laughs> But no, he was very, very skilled climbing that statue. It was amazing. Oh, it's pretty big. Yeah. And this is back in town. So this is like I'm heading now up uh, further north of uh, of Reykjavik. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's the, the house is there. So I wanted to capture a little bit of the house. So there. you did not rent a car or anything? No. You took buses, taxis, I did, yeah. what? Actually, I just took a taxi. And uh, for the most part, yeah, I, I walked. Oh, you I did walked a lot around. Of walking. Yeah, so the first day at least. The next days after that, I um, I did tours. So I went okay. on a bus tour, which is great. You can either, um, I had a little bit of a sense on what I wanted to do. So horses again, I wanted to do some horseback riding out there, knowing that the Icelandic horses are, are supposed to be very unique. Um, so I wanted to experience that. And um, also to see some parts of the country as well. So I, since I didn't have a car, I, I took the bus If tour. you can, maybe yeah. you want to show us a few of your uh, garments you brought. Yes, I will bring show those as well. So besides Ike, I also, yeah, did some shopping. So there's a lot of wool products. So You mentioned they eat lamb, so this yeah. is... 
So yeah, sh sheep meat is very popular there, and they actually eat everything off the sheep as well. So they, you might be, you know, seeing a, a plate that they bring out with the whole sheep's heads okay. on the plate. So they're very unique in the way they, um, yeah. So I got a nice little wool hat for myself. Beautiful. <laughs> so. Um, and that's handmade, so they have beautiful products. And I got it's great to get gifts there as well, and they're not too heavy to bring, no, right? No, it looks so, nice. And I got a nice pair of gloves. I like those that they were very unique. And this stuff was all made in Iceland? Yes, oh, all made in great. Iceland, yep. And uh, this is kind of like a really nice shawl uh, that I've been wearing in the summer times there. Um, Yep, so made in Iceland. <laughs> it's just nice with the dress, you know, instead no, of like... No, the stuff looks very nice. You just uh, kind of wear it like that. So when you oh, wear a nice dress handsome. and it kind of keeps yep. you warm, like nice in the summertime. It's so wool products. Now, did you know if they exported a lot of these items? Did they say anything to you like um, um, these are available in the United States or in Germany or... Well, you know, with the internet, you can probably look them. Okay. Yeah. But it didn't strike them. you as like a major no. business for them of no. expo. Okay. Exactly. But, uh, I mean, they do like to do, tourism is one of the biggest industries. So that's kind of like why they a little bit really? relaxed I'm about the whaling. I'm surprised. Because they also that. offer whale watching. So, you know, it's kind of a little bit controversial to have. Did you get a sense of uh, where they said a lot of their tourists came from? Um. I think a lot of Europeans go there. Okay. Um, uh, from Denmark. Okay. Yeah. So from Denmark, I had uh, I actually bumped into some of them from Denmark, um, uh, Sweden as well, and a lot of Americans actually too. A lot so, of Americans. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of foreigners. Um, I also bumped into people. So when you when you travel alone, which I did at this trip, um, you do get to bump into and talk to a lot of people. So from England, uh, Israel actually. I, I think people are always yeah. friendly when you're traveling anyway. You want yeah. to know the truth. Yeah. Um, you meet other tourists. They want to talk to you. What did yeah. you? see where did you eat where did you shop exactly you know they want to find out what uh what yeah. you discovered yeah so um yeah i had coming. actually a, a, a really interesting story um well let me hold you off a second yeah. this is so that's kind of almost the same shot like where um there's a lot of uh, the colorful houses they uh, it's just that's kind of like what uh, you had good shooting. weather too it looks like yeah the first day it was really nice weather Oh, another horse yeah, statue. So another that must statue. have been your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of beam the horse is carrying there, but this is kind of like what I was going after. So kind of leading into the picture with the color, colorful houses there. Um, and then I did a loop then from there around, and I went to uh, the, the, the church the, that you can see uh, from anywhere within Reykjavik, actually. Okay. But it was on the construction this, at this that church? time. This church? Actually, that one, um, it's not that one, but it, okay. I, I just like the way No, that's a good-looking church. church. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, so as far as, like, the religion on uh, Iceland, I, a lot of them are Lutherans. Okay. Yeah. Lutheran Which I churches. think is also Denmark. Yeah. Were they under Danish rule at one point? Yes, yeah, so under okay. Danish rule, Norwegian rule, um, and actually the first settlers, um, it, it's, it's always, um, they say it, it, it was uh, Leif Eriksson, which we see a which, statue later on. Okay. Um, but it was actually Irish monks. Oh, really? <laughs> 8,000 uh, BC. Carl being from Ireland, did he explain to you how the yeah. monks ended up yeah. there? And, uh, how did enough, Irish they, monks end up in Iceland? I know, it's just crazy. And uh, apparently, I, uh, somebody was telling me this, that there was a there was a curse, like the, the, some of the monks said, if there's any pagans uh, setting foot on Iceland, there, there was supposed to be something happening to them. And sure enough, like there was uh, uh, one of the Vikings that came to the island, as soon as they he saw like the area where he wanted to live, he dropped dead. <laughs> so they tell stories like that too. And uh, actually they believe in trolls in, in um, Oh really? Yeah, sagas and trolls and everything. And, and there will be some um, um, rock formations later on in, in uh, some of my pictures where they say those are actually trolls and they were out to play and when the sun comes up, they turn into stone. So those poor little trolls didn't make it home in time, and they turned into stone. So yeah, quite interesting. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Good story. And yeah. that is—is is that the so church? So this is that church okay. that I um, in the in the 
far back around there. So there's a lot of walking uh, parks there. It's it's and as you can see, it's very flat. So. Yes, I was. I, that's yeah. why I said for bikers. That, well, it's great. For if bikers. I was a biker, yeah. Somebody else will say, you know, Jack, you want hills and valleys. For yeah. me, I like them flat. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I like them flat as well. Um, and uh, the nice this is a. So that's uh, another statue there, and I don't know. Um, that's okay. Who that might be? I like they, they use a like kind of very modern contemporary. Yeah. yeah. So um, look. Um, I was lucky enough. I had one of the teachers being on one of the bus tours. So um, that's a nice reason uh, why it's good to travel in the summertime, because. Um, you get those uh, school teachers to, to teach you lots of things about Iceland and how the school system actually works in Iceland So this well. was an Icelandic school teacher who was on vacation from class. Exactly. So what did they tell you about the schools? So the school system apparently doesn't matter what area you're, you're planning to go into, architecture or uh, music or arts um, or cooking, yep. um, they really support you to be creative. So um, that's their big thing, but, and, and you can tell. I mean, um, yeah, I didn't even say anything about my nice uh, little blouse here that I'm wearing today, but this is an Icelandic piece. It's very contemporary, so they have um, beautiful um, clothing there. So shopping for clothing is very, very unique over there. And that's, by the way, is not that uh, expensive. So Really? Nice. Yeah. So, so uh, food seems to be the only thing you found yeah. high. Everything okay. Everything else, like this, this well, wasn't you know, that expensive. We so. in the United States overall uh, have, compared to other countries in the world, I'd say lower prices for food. That's right, yeah. We you know, so really coming lucky. from here, it may, I don't know what Germany's prices are, but maybe Iceland is more comparable to European yeah, I mean, prices. yeah, I mean, you you kind of see yourself like paying two to three times more in Iceland. Really, yeah. that yeah. much more. So it yeah. was a little bit of sticker shock. Yeah, <laughs> probably is for most people, but it's really, really worth it to go, especially you know being uh, in Boston and being able to hop on on a plane of five hours, being over there. Yeah, five hours isn't bad. Yeah, there. and the great thing is what they started to do with Iceland Air as well is they. Um, Give you a taste of Iceland. It's it's actually called the Taste of Iceland, and they have it. They had it last year, yep. And they had it again in March, I believe. And they, um, I think this year it was the Rialto restaurant was involved with it. So they brought a chef in from Iceland who was cooking. Oh, to Rialto. Yes, who was. Uh, Did he do the the um, the whale? Yeah, that would oh, have been something, did? right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did some seafood dishes, um, but the the kitchen. Um, again, because they are taught to be so creative with the food as well, it's amazing the kind of food they're Oh, so you create. really love the food there? Yeah, it's they, and and the thing is, um, so they do have greenhouses there, so they do grow some of their own vegetables and fruits as well. They can actually grow their own bananas. Really, in the yeah, greenhouse. In the greenhouse. Well, that's why the food also could be expensive when you have to. Yeah. Put everything in greenhouses. Do they have a lot of water? What was the your sense of their water supply? Did they have? Oh uh, yeah, they have. Um, the, I, from the, the mountains, they have plenty of yeah, water. Yeah, so they okay. have like yeah, this. They I think they sell even glacier water there. Oh okay. In, uh, in bottles, um, but the water system. It's uh, the the greenhouses itself are not that expensive. Probably expensive yep. to create and everything, but. They heat them with their own energy, with the, the thermal, thermal energy. Thermal energy. Exactly. Which, by the way, here in Massachusetts um, is becoming more and more popular, mm -hmm. the thermal energy. Yeah. I have a friend who's building a new home, and he's yeah. doing all thermal yeah. energy. And uh, they also are putting the um, glass uh, the uh, solar, photo, solar, yeah, solar the panels systems, on their roof. Yeah. So they're going to have thermal energy for their heating and air conditioning mm -hmm. and solar to help them with their electricity. Yeah. So, um, you know, I guess they're planning to, if everything goes kaput, they're going to be okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, uh, actually a lot of the European countries, they go in there to look at the technology they use for thermal. Of the thermal. Yeah. yeah. Now this is what? This is any particular building, a special building? So, yeah, I wanted to capture a little bit how they build the houses over there as well. Oh, this is a private home. 
So this is a private home, okay. exactly. So they have some houses where they have like corrugated metal on the... On I the see. Oh, okay. Yeah. What we call tin roofs. Yeah, the tin <laughs> roofs, yeah. So there is an example of that. So this is like the corrugated metal sheets they have around it. Did, was there a lot of lumber, did you notice, in the country? Did you see a lot of trees for lumber? No. Or no? Okay. That's a big problem for them. They don't have a lot of trees. So. Okay. And this is, yeah, the, the, uh, the first... Um, yeah, the, the... Leif Erikson. That's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I think he was in the United States, too, Leif Erikson. Yep, exactly. So... He got around. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And this is a beautiful church. So this is inside that church now that is, uh, was on the construction outside. Oh, that outside. white one. No, yeah. okay, not the white one with the two... Uh, no, it okay. wasn't the white one. It, All right, uh, this is another one. Yeah. So it was, um, I, I took a little, you could see it a little bit in the in the background from the harbor, the first shots that okay. I did, like shooting. I did, through. I remember seeing a big yeah. steeple. So it's actually a great way to, you know, see the, get your way of the land, like a way of the city, I should say. Um, and in the back there, it's, uh, it's again, talking about food, um, it's, it's called Perla. Um, it's like a little, you see a little dome in the background. So yep. that's uh, Perla, you have to go probably uh, go up with a cab, but it's a restaurant. It's a four. Oh. You can have a four course meal there, um, and it's a, yeah, probably one of the better. You got restaurants. around pretty good for a short trip. This is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first day. We have. We are still on the first day, but that's also the view now. Um, again, where the bike path goes along there on the shore, and oh yeah, and way in the back there, you can actually see one of the cruise ships. A giant cruise ship was in, which I didn't even see when I took that picture. Oh, so there were some cruise does that include yeah, this? So, okay. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I, I didn't know that was actually there until we dropped some of the bus companions off in the evening time from, from one of the tours. So, yeah, so that's uh, Leif Erikson as well, again. So just, uh, that's the statue right outside the church. I like, there. I like the... Um the bases and the way they yeah. they tie the statues in. They do a very modern, you know, the statue yeah. is kind of very traditional. Yeah, exactly. But the, uh, it's very modern the way they um, yeah, exactly. hold them up. This looks like a nice street. Yeah, so this is like, uh, again, heading now, I'm going back to my hotel. So um, just residential homes. And uh, now I didn't really notice this that much on, on this trip, but uh, in January when I went with my husband again, and it's a lot, it was a lot darker. Yep. Because uh, oh, there, the yeah, it was uh, the winter time. So they have the lights on in the winter time all the time. So you mean like street lights? Yeah, and stuff. street lights are on all the time. So I was very surprised, like because we drove a lot uh, and hunt for the northern lights, and uh, yeah, it was just the lights were on all the time. But yeah, you did. I didn't even notice. So this is now my second day. Okay. And the second day, I'm finally out on the horse. You did look at that. <laughs> so and yeah, the Icelandic horses are just very, very unique. Um, they're very skilled in going through like the the river here. Um, they're not clumsy horses where they don't know where to put their feet. So there's big rock rivers. And this you know is what? my horse. <laughs> and also, I have horse. to tell you, though, I'm looking at the greenery. Yeah. It looks like it would be a good agricultural area. Yeah. Or, or you found they said it wasn't so good for growing food. Um, it's th because the times are shorter. Yeah. It's, yeah. But actually, the grass is a lot uh, grows faster in the summertime because of the the sunlight so th that was my horse it's Bailey's is, is the horse's name <laughs> and uh, yeah there's one really really good company uh, Lexness I went to them again at, okay. on this trip so yeah so going to horseback riding was yeah. definitely something yep. you were gonna do on this trip exactly good for yeah. you so that was one thing that I booked right away but you can book things also uh, you know right in spurt of moment there because your hotel will help you book everything and tell you like okay tomorrow morning at 8 30 you need to be ready to get on the bus and they do everything for now, you now is this horse a palomino do you know what or is it a special it's, no it's a very specific horse to iceland yes it's really? the icelandic horse okay and they have a very um a big rule about Icelandic horses. So Re uh, fill me in a little bit. So what? if you, um, so they breed them there, okay. and uh, if an Icelandic horse should leave the island, it's never allowed to come back. Really? Yeah. So you're banned forever. Banned forever. And yeah. why is that? They uh, they just try to keep the breed pure and free from diseases. Oh, I see. And they're so, afraid if you yeah. 
bring it to exactly. Canada, whatever. Exactly. So they're very whatever. careful about that because oh, these horses not, are not exposed to certain diseases. So, I got you. Um, so th and uh, believe it or not, America and Germany are actually the two countries that have more Icelandic horses than Iceland themselves. Do they do okay in, in other countries? Oh, yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah, okay. they do fine. You can actually go up to Vermont and ride some Icelandic horses. They have a, a special gate. So I always say, like, you can uh, ride an Icelandic horse and hold a glass of wine. I'm going to demo this with a glass yeah. of water. But you can hold a glass of wine and you, you just uh, ride on your horse and you won't spill your glass of wine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have such a smooth gait. And uh, in pictures, you could see that there are even kids going on those. So that you can just put anybody on the horses and they're fine. So, yes. So this is um, the Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon is a very, very special place as well to go to, and you can kind of see the blue milky water here. Um, and I did actually bring a little treat, um, which is a, a, from I'll the Blue Lagoon. See. Oh, um, good. Yeah, hold it up there. Yeah. Right. This is a tube of what? So this is a mud mask. Oh. So a lot of times you see in, in the Blue Lagoon people swimming around and have stuff on their face. So I'm going to do a little demo here, and I hope I'm not going to... I'm going to put a little bit on my face. Okay. <laughs> and what is this going to do? Give you... Uh, but I hope it's going to make my skin look much better later it on. It looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's supposed to turn white. <laughs> I, th I think you're just doing my TV show today, so they'll put you in a Blue Lagoon cosmetic ad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they so, better not have me in the ad. Yeah, they'll so kill the product. <laughs> I made a joke, like, wherever I went after that, even my Swedish friend who was getting married, I put a, a mask on her, too, and we took picture selfies of those. So. <laughs> But I'm doing a little demo today. So. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, so We're the Blue Lagoon is definitely a, a great place to go to. Yeah, it's, um, it's uh, and it was part of the package. So horseback riding, and then, of course, oh, after really? two, two hours of horseback riding, you need a little relaxation. Now, if you went swimming in there, was the temperature comfortable? Yes. It's really? It's nice and warm, yeah. Oh, all right. And the water is, uh, so for those that are, you know, that say, well, I can't swim, um, it's, it really just goes, like, uh, up Waist to here. Waist high, okay. Waist high, yeah. And what about the main ocean? Were there any beaches that you saw or went to yeah, on we went the main to, Atlantic yeah, Ocean? Yeah, went close to the beaches as well, um, but the, the sea is very rough. It is. Yeah, okay. so even if you would think, like, wow, this is great. Um, you can, great waves and everything, good for surfing, but they but are But not what you'd powerful. say is a good no. swimming. Okay. And the beaches are black. What do you mean? So it's black sand beaches. Oh, black, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. seeing the picture. So, yeah, this is actually some lava stone, and I brought you some, too. Oh. So you can see how it looks. Oh, so this is what the beaches are all made from, is so, the yeah. black lava. Yeah. Oh, so it's black. Yeah, so this is actually That's lava stone. That's like, I think, stone. the big island in Hawaii. The island yeah. Hawaii it's probably has you the find same the similar, blacks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's... Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't it's... realize. So even in the cold, cold weather up... Well, Iceland, you tells me, not that cold anyway. But, yeah. uh, oh, so the beaches are all black sand. Black sand beaches, yeah. Am I turning white yet? Yeah, you're getting all white. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to wipe that off now. <laughs> I think and it's this done is, its magic. this is what? This is... Uh... Okay, so this is still the Blue Lagoon. And you can kind of... I, I wanted to give a good picture of... Um, you know, the whole area itself. What so, is that? It looks like smoke. Yeah, so it's or just steam. steam. It's oh. steam. Yeah, so they have the steam factories. Um, oh, it's a steam factory. Yeah, so... But um, what, from the thermal? They probably or? Oh, uh, wait, there's, there's yeah, Ike. Yeah, so there's Ike, yeah. <laughs> so that was one of the pictures I sent to my friends. I love it, I love Ike it. Ike being at the Blue Lagoon, yeah. So it's just, I think they harvest some of that energy from there. And oh, it's, really? Um, those, that's what those factors were. So this is like the whole uh, formation all around the this Blue Lagoon. This is why I... This is this very probably, close to the uh, uh, um, airport now, Keflavik as well. This is probably why the, our, the uh, agriculture can't be so great in many of the areas. Many areas because yeah. I don't think you can do too much in lava yeah. as far as... Exactly. Uh, so they used to have like 70% uh, of uh, Iceland was covered in forest before. Oh, really? But now this is swimming in the Blue Lagoon? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can kind of see it has the blue milky water. It would have been nice if the if, if it was actually blue sky above, but... Um, no, no, it's a good picture anyway. Yeah. So this is um, where... Um, this is a part of the Golden uh, Circle, it's called. So I yes. did a bus tour of the Golden Circle, and I did it at twilight. So And that rings around the whole country, correct? Um, just a certain part close around Reykjavik. Okay. But this is actually where the American and the European plates come together. 
Um, really? And <laughs> they splitting apart actually there. So you see the fold there. This is where they fold apart right now. And it's about two centimeters a year. They drifting apart. So, so the theory is what? That Iceland was part of North America originally or no? Well, it is practically like, yeah, there's the American plate is right there. So <laughs> you can kind of see. Oh, like, okay. So part of maybe North that's what originally happened. Because yeah. I know they say uh, South America and Africa were mm -hmm. once one continent. Yep. And at some point prior to my birth. Yeah. They separate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. it's um yeah, it's it's a very so that part there is a pink now this, pink veneer is called that oh, part. Right, that's yeah. interesting. And this looks like a little almost farming farmhouse or something. Um this is actually the first parliament. Oh. Yeah. Shows you how good I am at guessing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first parliament. And this is Gulfos. Um, so Gulfos is, um, it, it means, um, actually, what does it mean? That's good. I think it's the Golden Falls. Oh, okay. It yeah. looks like a beautiful waterfall. Yeah. So uh, they, they, uh, on this tour, they bring you to the waterfalls. They bring you to the geysers. So we will see some pictures of oh, the yeah, geysers. Oh, yeah, geysers also. Yeah. So this is where it actually, the, the word came from originally. So oh, it's, oh from okay. Iceland. That makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, so the original geyser, um, um, it's actually not active anymore. But um, yeah, so that's it. It's a great tour to do. And this, and this picture is was all taken, fresh water, I'm going to assume. This is. I think that's fresh water, yeah. yeah. This picture was taken at uh, 1030 at night. Really? Yes. 10.30 at 9, so, and uh, as we go into, yeah, so that's Ike at the Gulfoss. <laughs> And this is now at um, the Geyser area. So you can see like little sparkles there on the right hand yes. side. Those are actually coins. And people thrown in coins for good luck. Um, now, what they do actually in Iceland, they collect where people throw in money. They collect these and give them to the hospitals. But in this case, they cannot do that because the water there is so hot, they can never get the oh, coins out of there. Okay. So it's not no good. Um, so getting back to the cycling, the great thing about the cycling as well is if you like to camp, yeah, it's great camping for, uh, on Iceland, and it's a very, very safe area too. So it's, you got a feeling they didn't have a crime issue. No, it's very, very safe to be there. I mean, even you know, you hear about bar scene and drinking until seven in the morning. It's very, very safe. Um, and um, actually, you know, I think that's a, uh, wonderful to always hear that. But I always tell yeah. people, be cautious wherever you are. You yeah. know, there's always. Um, yeah. Can be situations. Exactly. So what I did when I researched Iceland, I actually um, uh, Googled uh, research and everything, and I uh, bumped into this one girl. I'm going to show this one. Okay. <laughs> so this is my friend Brynja. So I wrote Brynja an email. I said, like, you know what? I'm going there by myself, and she is a comedian. Oh, she... So I said, like, okay, you know, I'm going to reach out to her and ask her if she can maybe show me Icelandic uh, nightlife. So I just said, like, okay, I'm going to try this, you know, maybe she's going to think it, I'm crazy. But I, I sent her to my photography website. I said, like, I'm just a photographer, you know, coming in. Um, would you mind sharing, you know, some of Icelandic nightlife? So on my first night, sure enough, she told me, well, we're going to a party. So you get into a cab, go to this place. And I ended up on Iceland's uh, biggest directors. Party, house party. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. So So she knew the right people. She knew the right people, even though it was a little bit of a gamble to do this. Obviously, just somebody from the internet. But, you know, again, <laughs> you just uh, have your own judgment. And, and we chatted before and everything. And it was a great thing. We are great friends now. She said I can stay you with stay her. You stay in touch with her. I stay in touch with her. We are Facebook friends. And uh, she says now, you know, if I come over, I can stay with her. See, that's what I think, you know, <laughs> is amazing with, that you you get with the internet yeah you know besides all the other wonderful things but yeah. you know you make friends yeah. internationally absolutely and you know like you yeah. said this is my friend in Iceland and if you're back in Iceland you'll look her up or if she comes to the states yeah. and uh, it was great to I, get I really think the the her. internet can bring a lot of um, global harmony I'll yeah. use I'll use that word absolutely and uh, you know, it, it's interesting you, you showed the water because we had a guest uh, last month mm -hmm. who was in the Middle East. She was a, a food and nutritional professor. Okay. And I was talking to her that water, uh, my opinion is, is a major, major global issue. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I think we're going to be facing a lot of water shortages, which yep. I know we already have, but I think even more so mm -hmm. in the future. And I think countries like Iceland, who have a lot of natural, good, clean water, mm -hmm. are going to be in um, a better situation mm -hmm. than some of these other countries who will have to desalinate, which is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Unless they come up with you know new ways to to bring desalination to uh, yeah. lower prices. Yeah. But see, you got this. So the, yeah, looks so like a water act, strong country. So this is uh, actually one of the geysers that is still active. Yep. Um, oh wow! So I photographed it just before and then after as it is e exploding. So um, yeah, so that's uh, and this is now the third day there, and on that one, I that's my favorite trip to do. Okay. I can highly uh, recommend that one. It's. Um, South Shore Adventure, it's called. Okay. And you can book it through Excursion Reykjavik or Excursion Iceland. Um, you, you'll have to send them your video there at yeah. uh, the Tourist Commission <laughs> and say you, they should use you as a spokesperson. Yeah, and this was like really a spurt and of the moment decision. And again, the hotel just booked it for me. So it's great. So you just, you know, pay with your credit card. That trip, it took all day. Yep. So they picked me up in the morning, 8 o'clock. This is actually a picture taken out of the bus. So... Try taking pictures out of the bus. No, you know, it looks as you terrific. Move it by, oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Something. So this is, um, um, that's actually Skoka Bus. Were there a lot of waterfalls there? Lots of waterfalls. Really? And um, they actually wanted to film, originally they wanted to film the Lord of the Rings in Iceland. Oh. But they were getting into the problems with the horses. <laughs> so, you know, they've been regulated that heavily, but they've done a lot of movies now in Iceland. Oh, um, I can see why. So, yeah, this tour brings you to two of the waterfalls, to the glaciers there. So, um, in this case, I, I was a little bit disappointed looking at the glacier like that because it looks all gray and sandy. It's like, where's the nice, clean glacier look, blue and everything? But it's just like that in the summertime. Um, and they actually bring you up on parts of the glacier so you can walk now, a little bit. Now, is the glacier cold? Yeah, totally cold. And uh, um, it just has sand in it. So it's... Ice mixed with sand and exactly, rock. yeah. But does and is it continually melting? What do they tell you as yeah. far as? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. So even in the five years, like I, I could, I noticed how far you the did. bus. Oh, okay. Was already driving towards the glaciers. So. Okay, so you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So there is a picture of the black sand beaches, and there's with ice. With ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, the, they have beautiful beaches there, but yeah, nobody swims there really. So I think it's a very heavy undercurrent. So I see the signs everywhere when you go and there. And it could be uh, the Atlantic was probably cold. Yeah. So it takes about three hours to get to this part. It's uh, uh, close to a town called Vik. So, okay. which is the southern uh, most city of do Iceland. Do most of the people who are Icelandic live in the Reykjavik area? Yeah. They do. Okay. Yeah, I think it's two thirds. Two thirds. Okay. Yeah, two thirds. But there's really great. Uh, so there in the back now, you see those trolls that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> those trolls that never got back to their underground caves. So <laughs> the sun hit them and they turned into uh, rock formations. So it's those little ones there. I, I took it at an angle, but people walking there at the beach. I see the people. Yeah, right behind it. Those are the rock formations where there's supposed to be trolls. I think three, uh, two trolls and their boat. So that's what the story is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and again, there you see, like, it's uh, it's still very flat, the land there. So. Very, very yeah. flat. Yeah. So it's. I think it's beautiful. Oh, a few flowers. Yeah, so there's uh, summertime, some of the beautiful flowers. Out there you know, to me, it looks like a lot of the western United States, you know, with the mountains yeah. and. Yeah, those, so yeah, lupins, I think, yeah. Now, I don't know, I think they used to have, maybe they still do, I think, didn't they have a woman president in Iceland? Yeah, they did, yeah. Yes. I, I, yeah, I don't know who it is now, but yes, they did have a, you're absolutely right about yep, that. I yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Now, this is what, a restaurant. So, yeah, it's That's it's where just I'd a, be, sitting again, in the like restaurant. Again, like the cool, uh, you know, um, signs that yep. they did, like it's just literally a metal sheet and, and stamped through with the words in it, but I thought that was so cool, so I just photographed that, and again, with the little trolls there in the back. <laughs> Yeah, so they stop there and you have something to eat. And this is actually quite interesting um, because Iceland had a, um, they had made a pact with the U.S. Okay. Because the Iceland doesn't really have any military. So they have made uh, a pact with uh, America for protection. Okay. And on that 
mountain there. So if you go further up, I think that's where the American base was. Oh, there was a base there? There was a okay. base there, yep. There was a base there, and I think they, it's not too long ago uh, when they closed the base, so maybe five, six years ago. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not familiar that, yeah. with it. I, yeah. didn't, I would think I would have, it could have been what, part of NATO? Maybe they're in NATO. Um, I don't know. I really yeah. don't know. Yeah, I don't know that part particularly either. But I, I know that they they mentioned briefly that there was a base up top there. And I think it just closed when I was there in 2009, maybe three or four years before that. Now, your home country where you were born, Germany, we still have uh, bases. quite a, yep. bases. Yep. And uh, I think much less military than many years ago, but still a, a good yeah. military yeah. presence. Yeah, and I still remember like a lot of the um, clubs I used to go to. There really? was a lot of American soldiers there yeah yeah i wouldn't be surprised so, yeah stuttgart was like uh there were a lot of american bases there yes oh that's a big area for americans yes yeah it was yeah now and this Heidelberg is Frankfurt. yeah so this oh, is look also at this. This there's like again a, a few, few more trolls back there <laughs> um, but this is a really really nice cave um uh, and yeah the, um I just uh, went right into the cave to kind of photograph out to capture some of the blue. Oh, it looks beautiful it blue looks sky. Nice, yeah. Yeah. I, I have to comment. Your photos are just terrific, and I like a lot of the different places you. Uh, yeah. You took them. Oh, yeah, I picked up a stone from that beach actually, and the guy was telling us if you rub that stone and just from the oils, the natural oils on your hand, if you rub that, it makes the stone shine, and you can tell. Like, look at this. Yeah, no, Just it looks like a nice river rock. Oh, yeah. it's got a, a feeling to it. Yeah, so it makes huh. it shine again. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we hold up the stone. <laughs> so that's a stone from that beach, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's again, all in the southern tip. The whole tour this is takes the, the, the whole trolls way. that yeah. what they call the rock formations yeah, are so trolls. The trolls there as well. And then the next picture, actually, it's... Uh, oh, the, look at that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, talking about Ireland, I've never been to the giant causeways where they have that same formation, but I was able to see it them It looks like, Iceland. you know, I don't know if you ever noticed it along the Mass Turnpike, it looks some places oh, yeah. a little bit like that. <laughs> That's true, like, yeah, some of the yeah. rocks there, yeah. So these are actually, uh, they... Uh, Basalt columns, so the octagon columns. Really? Yeah, and uh, yeah, they, they, it's just amazing to see. So yeah, you can see how big they are from the And this, of course, was there. not from lava. This is the other rock. Um, it's lava, yeah, it is made from lava. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. From the, the, those formations. Yeah, so in the, it's kind of hard to see because you see the sky there, but if you look just beyond the mountain there, you can see like almost like a little white sheet. That's a glacier there as well. Oh, and wow. this is very close to, uh, by the way, this whole area that I just, um, the last few pictures, it's all in the area where that uh, big volcano, that, well, I, it's a small volcano that erupted, the Eia Fiatia Leokut. I'm impressed. <laughs> so that was that all happened in that area. So I think this is um, either it's Hecla or Katla is uh, is the is that uh, glacier there. Um, and this is a, a a very interesting story. So apparently, under one of those waterfalls, there was is a gold a, a chest with a golden treasure uh, buried under the waterfall okay and they've been trying to get this chest up and couldn't get it up oh they know where it is they know where it is okay. it's under the waterfall so this is in in one of the museums and in, in the uh, skoka uh, folk museum it's the biggest um museum icelandic museum besides the one that's in iceland uh, in reykjavik itself which is you know that's nationally funded but this is actually private collection oh, this, okay and this is the most valuable piece in that whole collection and it's the ring from the chest oh. that's the proof that that chest does exist because they're trying to get it out with a rope and the rope came out with just the ring attached so and it never broke got apart the chest. yeah <laughs> So that uh, chest of gold is still under the waterfall. So they just love their stories. <laughs> so, but before I forget, I brought some um, Icelandic yogurt for us as well. Oh, look at that. They're, so, feeding, they're feeding Jack. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this was very rare to get. So this is Icelandic yogurt, which is very, very high in proteins and low in calories. 
Okay. So it's good and, for and us. Is it sold in America as <laughs> it's well? It's sold in America now, and you get it actually at Stop and Shop Roach Brothers Wegmans. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I think Wegmans has probably the biggest variations. What would you like? Oh, we're going to taste it. Yeah. We'll try the blueberry. Blueberries. Siggy's oh, blueberry. Siggy's blueberries. Here oh. we go. So and very, you got a spoon for me, too. Got a spoon for you. Boy, you come fully, temporary looking fully spoon. prepared. <laughs> Okay. Here you go. All right, Siggies, we're eating your yoga. I like the texture. It's thick. So a mm. lot of times, um, so it's not your, it's, uh, it's even. Very thick, good. It's even thicker than your. Um, um, American yogurt. Yeah, yeah the Greek yogurt as well. So. Mm. Mm. And you can taste it's a little bit more sour. Yes. So they're very big into uh, dairy products in, in Iceland as well. And this is one of the biggest. So they have a lot of cows, in other words? Yeah. So they we do. Didn't see... Yep. They do have uh, more cows now. Yep. And they make these. So they produce all oh, their own dairy wonderful. products. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. got a tartness to it. Mm hmm And, um, oh, so dairy was very big there. Yep. Now, was this expensive? Oh, let me get this photo in as well. This is... Mm hmm so just to wrap up with those last few pictures, um, so this is also at this Folks Museum where we just saw the ring, and this is actually a house that's originally built like with the um, with the grass over it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So again, the lupins. I think those are lupins. <laughs> oh, the name of the flower. Oh, yeah. oh and look at this. They grow right <laughs> yeah, on the roof. Yeah, so they, it's a, it's a phenomenal museum to go and see, and um, the guy actually that owns this, he is like. I think 94, 96 years old. Really? Okay. But he still is out there, and um, he played the piano for us in this little church there that's also part of the museum. Did you see a lot of buildings like this where they had, like, sod or whatever growing on the roofs? No, not so. No, no, okay. No, yeah. So, yeah, so this and is this the is last an, picture. I can't get yeah. over all the waterfalls. So this one you can actually walk right behind it. Okay. So this is like the the most famous waterfall I think on Iceland. Did your husband think some of this reminded him of Ireland? Did he say anything it's to you? It's very this? green there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And people always say like, well, you, you know, Ireland. Because Ireland, Ireland I remember seeing all yeah. this green and uh, yeah. a it's beautiful the country. And everything. Yep. Yeah. So it doesn't get very warm there in, in, in the summertime. But you know what? When we went in January, it, uh, it was actually warmer on average in Iceland than it was here. Well. <laughs> Without yeah, winter. We, we had um, <laughs> yeah. a winter this yeah. winter that was we quite memorable. In fact, um, <laughs> right, I still haven't seen summer yet. Yeah. In fact, uh, Mrs. Barron and I were out the other day shopping, and we went into a restaurant, and the two of us said we should have brought a winter coat, and this is already May. Yeah, so, um, I know. It's we've crazy. We've had a very cold winter. Yeah. Nikki, it's a pleasure. I am so, so nice. thrilled you came <laughs> to visit us today. And um, you promised me some other uh, of your photo tours you were going to bring to the show. So I'm going to I'm going to hold that to you. Okay. And we'll bring more food the next yeah, trip. Yeah, I have think to, so. Yeah, I have to bring have them to some bring... my apple strudel, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. And I'll have to have my, I'll bring you <laughs> my famous popcorn. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Jiffy Great. Pop that I'll, I'll shake up for you. We'll bring into the studio. Great. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrific. You're a great guest. Thank you Thank again. Thank you very much. <laughs>